Hey guys, welcome back. It's Isabel here and today we have a very special Hermes haul. So these are three very unique pieces, part of the Petite H line, which I'll get into a little bit later for those of you who may not be so familiar with the concept of Petite H. But basically, our Sydney Maison store is having a special event for about three weeks from the 5th of November until the 25th of November, featuring Petite H concepts and items and the displays are just amazing. It's like a little pop-up store within our Maison store. But even if you don't live in Sydney, these items are kind of available online. I just absolutely love the idea behind the Petite Age concept. So let's get into the first item and we can talk a little bit more about it. So I was still lucky enough to get a little piece of leather charm, which is supposed to come with your Petite Age packaging, but apparently they were running out. So I've only got two charms, but I was just so glad to have some. And this particular leather charm is in the surfboard shape because it does relate to the culture in Sydney with our beaches and everything. So although Petit H is not exclusive for Sydney, whenever they have a special exhibition in a city, they always incorporate something about the city. Anyway, let's get into it. And look how cute the Petit H booklet is. I believe this booklet tells you all about what Petit H is all about and let me show you the very first item I picked up. Look how cute this little passport holder is. So this is just a very simple slip passport card holder with a little love heart at the front. This is in the Epsom leather in the color few, which is their orange. And there is a cutout and inside of the heart cutout is this beautiful silk. And the back of the passport holder is just a plain leather in this beautiful navy color. And it's got the Hermes heat stamped with that petite H sign and made in France. It is just a very simple slick design. So you just fit your passport in there and the interior lining is a very vibrant silk as well. I just absolutely love how artistic this looks. So I brought my passport to show you how it fits. It's a very generous size. Of course, you don't have to use this for a passport. You can use it to store cards, receipts, papers. It's a very flat item, so there's probably not that much you can do with it. But I was actually always looking for a really nice passport holder, so I have considered the Louis Vuitton passport holders. But for some reason, I just never thought they were special enough to add to my collection. But I just loved the idea of this piece being really, really unique. So I was so happy to find this. And I believe there's only one in the world of this exact combo. Correct me if I'm wrong for those of you who might have more of an insight into the Petite H. So a little bit about the Petite H. It is a sort of department within Hermes as a brand where they gather all of the unused materials from the different metiers. So from their leather goods section, if they have some leather left over after making a bag, a card holder, and from their silks department, if they have some unused silk patterns, even hardwares that are not exactly used for any of the other departments within Hermes, they gather all of those materials together and instead of throwing them out and adding waste, they actually put those materials together and come up with a very sort of unique and interesting design and items. And that is why each piece is really unique. So I believe this passport holder is one of a kind. So yes, they may have the same design, but this exact color combination or this twilly pattern will not exactly exist. Or the actual cutout shape. There are so many different shapes available. So another person may have this passport holder, but not exactly in this combination. So I just love how individual and unique all of the Petite Age pieces are. And it's really nice to know that Hermes is trying to reduce waste by coming up with really creative ideas like this. Also wanted to show you, this is the invitation that they mailed out to all of their existing clients. Isn't this invitation even very beautiful? And because the whole concept of this petite age thing is to do with reducing waste and sustainability, all of the shelves and everything were done in recycled cardboard. And this paper is also recycled cardboard. So just really love the idea behind it. Like I briefly 
mentioned with the little surfboard leather charm on the ribbon, Hermes will incorporate the city that the Petit H event is on and come up with these little creative items like this harbor bridge. This painting is amazing as well. And this is a little safe that you can purchase. It was so expensive, but you know, Hermes Sydney Maison store is in the trust building where they have still to this day safes in the next door to the Hermes store. So they wanted to incorporate that idea into this item as well. They even had this giant kangaroo doll, which I mean, it was a bit creepy to be honest, but it's just really, really cool. And I especially love this mirror. Look at all of the hardware details all around the mirror. These must be all the unused hardwares. They've all gathered together and juxtaposed. Oh my goodness, it is just beautiful. Anyway, if I had unlimited amount of funds, I would have bought so many things, but I just wanted a couple of pieces that are really, really special and commemorate this event in my city. So I'm just really glad that I got to see the store during this special event and that I got to pick up a couple of really nice pieces. So this passport holder was 750 Australian dollars, which I don't think is too bad for something really unique. And I am going to definitely start using this when we can travel internationally again very soon, I hope. Now let's get into our second item. This time the leather charm is in an Australian animal. I think this is the echidna. It is in this beautiful John Amber sort of yellow color. I just love this mustard yellow. Let's get into this item. This is a bit of a novelty item, but I just loved it. And I can see myself having this for a really long time as well. So. I mean, this whole Petit Age event in Sydney, maybe once in a lifetime. So I just wanted to take advantage of whatever I could find that I really like. This one comes in a dust bag. That's really nice. The passport holder didn't actually come in a dust bag. To show you guys, I got this beautiful photo album. So it is actually called photo album, but you can actually use it as a little book as well, like a little guest book if you're having an event, a special event. And you can even have this as a really nice decorative piece for your bedroom or your office. I just love the colors in this. So again, these materials are made out of the materials that were unused from the other departments within Hermes. So you can see this area is done in the croc leather in that beautiful navy color. And you can also see that the whole cover of the book is done in this beautiful silk as well, front and back. And Hermes silk patterns are like work of art. There's just so much detail. So I have yet to find an actual use for this book because I don't just want to use it for some random thing. So yes, whenever I come up with an idea what I'm going to do with this book, I will share that with you guys. And let's get into the largest box. So Hermes is actually running out of packaging in general. So they're running out of ribbons. So this one didn't have a ribbon around it, but I told my sales associate, don't worry about it. I've got so much Hermes packaging at home that I really do not need more ribbon. But I am really super excited about this one because I can definitely see a lot of wear out of this. So you can kind of guess what sort of an item it is. It is a piece of clothing, but a very, again, unique one. So the Petit H booklet again, and ta-da, I got myself a silk dress in this beautiful, elegant colorway. So my beautiful Hermes Self Associate actually brought out all of the colorways and silk materials that they had in stock. And there were about eight or nine, I believe. But I ultimately decided on this one because I just thought this was such an elegant and wearable colorway that I just couldn't go wrong with this. I mean, aren't the colors just gorgeous? And this is a little leather shoulder strap on one side. So it's an off shoulder style and it's reversible. So you can wear it on this side and you can wear it on this side and have a completely different look. So all of these silk dresses actually come exactly like this. So you can wear it two different ways. And it has that little tag that says Hermes with that petite H 
sign again. I just think it is so adorable. This is definitely a more resorty, beachy sort of a piece of clothing. But living in Sydney, I can definitely see myself wearing this a lot. Just going for a nice lunch or dinner by the water, you know, going to the beach, taking it on tropical holidays. But you can also dress this up. I actually tried on a 13 millimeter belt with it to cinch in the waist and dress this up a little bit. And it looked so fabulous. I really like that belt. So I put in an order for that because they didn't have my size. So I'll be going back to pick it up hopefully soon. Although I probably wear this the most during summer, you can totally put a cardigan or a blazer on top and wear it during spring or even autumn if you live in a milder, more sort of warm climate like I do. So I am really ecstatic about this one. So with the holiday season coming up, I am sure I'll be wearing this very soon. And whenever I do, I will share my outfit look on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram already, do head over to my Instagram and check it out. I'd love that. So for those of you who live in Sydney, I would really strongly recommend that you go into the Hermes Boutique and check out the Petite Age pop-up. It is just a wonderful experience. Even if you don't live in Sydney, again, I saw a lot of these items on on the US website, the French website, European website. So you can definitely shop Petite Age items online. And what I found really interesting for online orders of the Petite Age items is that apparently when you put in an order, the combination that you get or the colors, it's a surprise. So you can pick the item, say, you know, the card holder or the rec dress, but the colorway is a complete surprise, which I think is so much fun. So these are definitely more novelty purchases. I get it. But when the Petite Age came to Sydney and the whole concept behind it, I just could not resist. So I definitely have to say that this was not completely planned out, but I just loved it. And you know, when you see things that really resonate with you, sometimes you just have to go for it. And while I was there, I actually got myself a bag. So I'm gonna do a dedicated unboxing for this bag, hopefully next week. So do stay tuned for that. I am so excited about this bag. And I have to say, I've actually already used it the other day. Um, so it won't be a true unboxing because I just couldn't help myself. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!